You know, uh, when Renee came and interviewed me, that's, this is exactly how I feel about this place. <clears throat> and you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of cool and it's kind of scary, but you know, it's cool because um, West Seattle is such a great town. Um, if you just moved here or if you were born here, it's hard not to love it over here, you know. And you know, when you th when you think of all these people coming. If you could live anywhere in the world, you'd want to live in America, you know. And if you'd live anywhere in America, and you had a computer and you were smart, <laughs> even if it wasn't for all the jobs, you'd want to live in with in Seattle. And they're moving here quick, and um, it's hard not to feel like you know you're laying in the middle of the street and a cement truck's heading right at you. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's it's you want to kind of protect your town and. Um, you know that you see you see kids that you grew up with come to visit and they're they love West Seattle but they don't live here anymore because they can't afford it. Um, they moved to Burien or Kent or somewhere and it's 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 kind of scary. But um, I think this little group that we've got will help. You know um, we need to you know prepare for what is coming and. Um, you don't want to be the high school kid who had a party when his kid his parents are out of town and everybody showed up and trashed your house. <laughs> you know, so um, I'm really glad that we have this going. I'm glad all you guys are here. I'm really glad Chaz came up with this so we can actually take a look at what's going on and try to prepare for what is inevitably happening. Um, and thank you. Hi there. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Susan Melrose. I'm the the director of the West Seattle Junction Association, and it's been exciting for our organization to participate in this project. We have so many wonderful small businesses like Husky Dilly, Elliott Bay, Logo Pro, Curious Kids Stuff, Hotwire Co Online Coffee House, all here to share this day with us. And um, of course. Um, uh, Menashe's and Sons Jeweler. So I want to take this opportunity to introduce Jack Menashe. I was, I, I, I've talked to her about two, three weeks ago and I told her I was going to be out of town and that I wanted her to call me and remind me because I usually don't get going this early in the morning. But um, <laughs> It, it's really a pleasure to be here. And, and then just to carry on one more thing that Jack and I have in common besides having the same first names is, you know, talking about the small town. As you probably all know, he's got two, his, two of his kids in the family business and the same with, with me. I've had two of my four children in the family business and uh, for a number of years and it's certainly rewarding and um, I kind of sympathize with everything. I think our lives are so busy that sometimes we forget how fast time goes and, and we're seeing all these changes here and so forth. And, you know, it, there's different opinions. You know, I read an article this morning about Vashon Island. It's not so much about business, but it was about the pro and cons as families and parents about vaccines and, and we've all read so much about that lately and I'm and I'm certainly being uh, all the years that I've been here in the in the junction as a business uh, as a business and of course living here and my wife is born and raised here we certainly being very visible and I know Jack does too is everybody's different opinions about everything that's going on and and the the old timers you know as, as we get older it's it is a little bit more difficult to accept change and 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 to hear all the different people that come in and uh, from real estate peoples to like I say people that are third and fourth generation that he has as customers as I have as customers is rather interesting and I I think this organization and what we're going to do I think is really going to be helpful and I, I really really take my hat off to all the different groups that are participating in this so thank you, thank you. 
And so, with with that said, <laughs> so Jack, mm -hmm. you are a longtime business owner in the West Seattle Junction, a property owner as well. And so, the West Seattle Historical Survey Group would like to formally invite you to sit down with us and conduct, and so we can conduct a survey and pick your mind and build a history about um, the, the history and what makes the junction special. So here you go. We'd like to formally invite you. Very good. Thank you. Do you accept, Jack? I do accept. Fabulous. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't have any words prepared, but, you know, one thing I did do last night that ties in with all of this, I spent an hour, and I do this about four or five times a year, looking at, and Leon remembers, Jack remembers, and a lot of the people here remember the book that was printed years and years ago on the West Seattle history of business here in the area, and you talk about generations and, and changes and so forth. I knew what was coming up today, so, but just to see that again and to see what's going on here today is certainly change. Thank you. Thank you. West Side Story lives again. <laughs> what do you know? Thank you, Jack. Okay, this is a press conference. We have lots of supporters here, but uh, Time for the press. Any questions you have for me, for Jack, for Jack, for Renee, for Susan, for Chaz, for Deb, anybody in the room? Yes. Um, first thing is, process-wise, once this is done, what actually happens that will keep it from being a wonderful report that is then set on a shelf and nothing really happens? Is there any obligation once it's done for anybody to do anything with it? The scope of the survey is informa information gathering alone. Um, but I can assure you, and you can feel the energy in the room, we have uh, the, uh, the, the, the wherewithal here to use the results in the best way possible. And I, as I said earlier, there are several ways it could be used, and even ways that we don't even know. I would not only challenge, but uh, require every group who's on that letterhead to really uh, take it as a duty once these survey results are out to really study them and um, go to the next level, go to the next chapter. One of the things when you do a survey is you don't know what the results are, so you got to wait and see what the results are. But I am sure that there will be follow-ups from this. Is there any chance that uh, something will result like a Pike Pine Historic District? I've, I've been covering much of the early discussion of this in the Southwest District Council over the past um, the past year, and this becomes the final form for now, but has anyone made any noises about that? Of course there's been conceptual talk about that, but nothing specific. And again, we're just about in gathering the information at this point. And of course it's a it's a political process, what you're talking about, and it's an election year. So uh, there are a lot of factors that come into this. Edie Neeson of Arts West. Um, Arts West has definite plans to move forward with... Edie, would you like to come up here and speak? Just tilt it down, Edie. Arts West has definite plans to pursue a designation from the City of Seattle that West Seattle is an arts and cultural district. As one of Arts West board members said just a week or so ago, the junction is a beating heart for the Duwamish Peninsula. From that beating heart, we have very strong veins to other parts of West Seattle that have rich arts and cultural uh, amenities. In the junction, you have Arts West, but you also have, I just learned on the blog, live music at Pogie's Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, a school of rock just a few blocks away from the junction. We have a vintage guitar shop north of the junction. So we have a list of some 80 organizations that provide arts and culture to residents of West Seattle. So we will be sending out notices by email, in the press, on the blog, to encourage 
artists, individual artists as well as arts organizations and businesses to take an online survey that's on the website of the City of Seattle that will demonstrate that we have a rich arts and culture district in this peninsula. So, thank you. Any other questions? I think we're closing in on a half hour, but if there are any other questions, this is the time. I just ask you all to look around the room, look at the faces in the room, and look at the organizations they represent. This is West Seattle. Thank you so much for coming this morning.